train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. That is Proverbs 22 and 6, the Eastern Standard Version. Ladies and gentlemen, educators, students, I'm Shane Sorrells. And today, as I reflect alongside this verse from Proverbs, I'm reminded of the importance of guiding young people in a way that prepares them for life. See, that wisdom isn't just about imparting knowledge, but about nurturing them, their hearts, their minds, their spirits, so that they can grow into the people that God has called them to be. This is a vital topic that I want to talk about that is close to my heart, the education of Gen Z. We live in an age of rapid change and incredible innovation. Yet many of our classrooms still use this outdated model that fails to encourage and engage our students to unlock their full potential. I believe that there is a need for social reconstruction in education. In order for us to truly educate this generation, we need to recognize the social and cultural shifts occurring all among us. Generation Z, they're growing up in a world vastly different from the one you and I both knew. They're digital natives, constantly connected throughout all technology and social media. They're more socially aware and diverse than any previous generation. And we care about issues such as climate change, social injustice, and equality. Yet too often, these things are not reflected in our educational system. This is where social reconstruction comes into play. An educational philosophy that schools should be the agents of change in all communities, addressing the social injustices and fostering a more conducive environment for identity in our society. This philosophy incorporates discussions about real world issues. This philosophy encourages us as educators to go beyond traditional teaching methods. In a Gen Z classroom where we encourage critical thinking and we foster an environment where students feel more empowered than ever to share their voice, ideas, and loud opinions. As we shift the focus to the student, progressing alongside social reconstruction, we have the philosophy of progressism. This focuses on the needs and the interests of those students. Progressism argues that generations have been shunned because our educational system has not been experimental. It has not been transformative. This is the system that prepares students for a real life by emphasizing critical thinking, problem solving, and hands-on learning and education. Trades. Certifications. Entrepreneurship. All words that should be familiar to Gen Z. For Generation Z, a generation characterized by our creativity, innovation, and a desire for self-expression and identity, progressism means creating a more student-focused education that caters to the unique personalities, interests, and learning styles that we all have. Instead of the one-size-fits-all model, we should be designing lessons that are flexible and personalized, tapping into each of our students' individuality, potential, and encouraging them to explore their passions. In the words of Martin Luther King, I have a dream, a new vision for education. One where students' creativity is now one-to-one where there is no one-size-fits-all model, where they can fall and rise according to their plans and their purpose, not our own, where they feel comfortable sharing 
where they feel comfortable voicing, where they feel comfortable in their community. Social reconstruction and progressism. These are the philosophies that I believe will launch Generation Z to new heights. Ones that generations before and ancestors only hoped people like me can reach. There's hope in education. Be blessed.